And guns and hoses is the high octane boxing event. Police and firefighters square off and all for a very good cause. Daniel Hopper is with Team Guns. Ryan Conaway, Team Hoses, good to see you guys. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for having us. Pleasure having being here. This is not your first rodeo, right? For both you guys. Oh, How no. many years, Daniel? Uh, nine for me. And nine for me as well. Well, congrats. It's an anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> So after that, but that first year, Daniel, when you decided to be in this, you, you repeated the performance for nine years. What made you continue to come back? Well, I, I haven't fought for four years. I took a four-year break. Um, this year, you know, I had every intention of being done. Um, my daughter found videos on YouTube of me from my previous years, and she's like, Dad, I want to see you do that. So here we are, and I mean... Any chance to get to do and help this great organization, you can't say no. Right. Well, who could say no to that thing? <laughs> um, you're going to see Brianna in just a minute. And so how about you? What, what kept you, you know, involved in this, Ryan? Uh, just, just believing in what the organization is all about. Uh, being a first responder, being there for the community, and just continuing to help it in different ways is, is what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, 911 gives hope. I mean, I think for people to understand, besides all the energy and excitement and the training and That's the training, in the training, Absolutely. you're really raising dollars for local institutions and organizations. 100%. And, and a lot of times when it comes to the actual give back, that's when it ties everything together. And it's not just being there at the fight itself, but seeing the organizations or individual families getting the money that we raised and seeing how it enlightens, makes their lives better is what it's all about. That truly ties it all together. I, somebody told me, and I can't remember, do you all remember the total you've given so far? Uh, not the... I mean, it's a very handsome amount, yeah, and I can't, it's, call, it's I can't well, well over a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. When we make over, well, when we raise over 100000 almost every year just from this event alone, it, it adds up pretty quickly. And I think the nonprofits sort of apply for the money e each year to, yes, yes, to yes, be a part of that. Yes, well, that's got to be an interesting process to sit down, because they're all worthy. 100%. To say how are you going to you know, dole out this money, but you do it so well and help so many people. So what's the training like for you since you've been out of the game for a little while, Daniel? Um, you know, I train a lot at home. I have, you know, the workout equipment, the heavy bags at home. Um, I try to make it over to the guns gym um, as much as I can for sparring. I'm just trying to Put in as much work as I can, just so I don't get embarrassed out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you, have you upped your game? I mean, do you feel even more prepared now, or you feel like the four years has cost you some? And I'm coming off an injury, which is why oh. I haven't been able to do it for four years. Um, so, I've definitely put in the work. I'm not quite to where I was when I was doing it before. But I'm going to be there, and I'm going to be able to put on one heck of a show. And that's that's part of the fun too. Yes, 100. So what's it like, Ryan, when you're coming out and they've got playing your <laughs> song and everybody's going crazy? Uh, for me, uh, I don't generally pay attention to the crowd. I'm I'm dead focused on <laughs> on the it's ring. Like staying alive. Um, you know, doing what I got to do to be there and to just stay focused on my fight and my opponent. Um, the crowd itself, you know. I have my, my gimmicks that I do to try to get them riled up and cheering and everything, but for the most part, I'm dead focused Focus. on that ring and my opponent. All right, so it's coming up soon. Get your tickets online at Ford Center and the Guns and Hoses page, too. Nom, 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 gives hope. Yeah, Absolutely. Ford Center, Ticketmaster, pretty much almost anywhere you get tickets. It's going to be packed, so get your tickets early. Thanks, yes. guys. Best Thank of luck. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.